Now, this is your responsibility if your computer breaks, it's not my fault. So, let's get on with it. If you want to delete this, try to delete it normally. Nope. This trusted installer thing stops you from doing it. Well, I have a way that we could bypass this feature that's supposed to make you safe. Right click on the file, press on properties, press on security, press on advanced, then press on change because the owner is trusted installer, you want to change that to yourself. And type in your username, press on check names, and there's one username that kind of matches what you typed in. Press on OK. And that's really it. Press on apply. And over here it's telling you that it needs to refresh. So you have to close the properties window and then open it again. So that it could refresh. Just press on OK on everything. And then we go back to properties, go back to security. Press on edit. Click on administrators and then press on um, full control press on apply and this is just giving you a warning press on yes press on ok press on ok and da -da -da, da -da -da, da -da -da. oh come on it doesn't let you delete it because it's open in another application so then you have to end, in my case, search and Cortana application, you have to end the process. Well, I guess that's why it's hard to delete Windows System 32. It's because most of them are running in the background, especially DLLs. So yeah, I hope that's useful for you. Bye, I guess.